Welcome back to another Vintage Story video. I figured I could showcase most of the game in the first episode, but I didn't progress as far as I thought I was going to. For a few reasons. I gotta cook this meat. Where are the sticks? Why are there no sticks? I just need two sticks. I need that flint. Oh, I need that flint. Okay, I'm so dead. How did it- how did it get on top? Why were there so many? Okay. Stop throwing rocks at me. Yan, Yan, can I chill at your place? Yan, I'm coming in, dude. I'm coming in. Yeah, nice throw, idiot. All right, Jan, Yan, whatever your name is. How's it hanging? Haven't seen you in a while. Um, you want to you tell me what's going on out there? Because the, the guidebook doesn't want to tell me. Like, is this a frequent occurrence, or a one-off thing, or, like, uh, what's going on? I- I wouldn't stand there, dude. Just checking- just checking out the vibe. Bro, get in here. Get in here, dude! What are those ho Oh, I can actually ask him. What are those creatures? Ah, those miserable souls, cursed ones, drifters. They come and go, lost in grief and rage, punished by God. <laughs> okay, they could seek atonement, but all they wish is to- Spread more misery. Yeah, I I got a good taste of that. Please don't kill me. Get, get out, get out, get out. I gotta say, man, you live in a hellscape. This might be my... Oh my god. <laughs> this, this might be a good time to make a run for it while the sun's coming up. Okay, I'm making a run for it, Yan. Good luck. Good luck, man. <gasps> I left the gate open. He'll be fine. He's, he's the best commodities merchant I've ever seen. He's got this under control. Back to the basics here, I guess. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's a gear. I think that's money. I can I can finally buy some stuff from Yan if he's still alive. Ah, I see it. I see it. My beautiful house. Covered with dirt and filled with dead drifters. It's good to be home. No, we just have to not die getting down there. Alright, I know now that there's a few flaws in this base. The, the open roof will not work, so I'm gonna spend the next couple days uh, reinforcing the defenses. I can only use so much of this dirt, I might just have to throw some of it out. I wonder if the beds are like Minecraft where you can just sleep through the night. There are beds. Hay bed. You need hay bales. Oh, that's actually really easy to make. I can do that. I'm finding it hard to believe I'll be allowed to sleep through the night. This game is just relentless. But, uh, I'll put it down. Oh, look at that. Let you sleep for up to seven hours. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take whatever sleep I can get. Why does it sound like there's another rift right outside the house? Oh my god. I desperately need a door here. Like, if those things attack, I'm dead again for sure. Now, I could just throw more dirt on the roof and call it a day, but if alien freaks are gonna be knocking at my door every night trying to murder me, I'd rather be murdered in my own beautiful home. Okay. My, yeah, okay, you do actually fall asleep. But your hunger starts to tick down. Oh, I should have eaten first, uh-oh. Fish, fish, yep, yep, get it cooking. Okay, I'm not gonna die, but now I know. Okay, so the trade-off to sleeping is I, I lose seven hours that I could have spent hunting or gathering or whatever. And then also, I just lose hunger. <gasps> oh, you can do vertical slabs. Minecraft could never. Oh, that's awesome. It's kind of hard to control the placement, but it's awesome. Okay, all right. Well, this bad boy is ugly as hell, and it looks like it'll let in a mean draft, but I guess it'll work for now. Eaten by wild animals? Oh my god, I can't. I don't think uh, I don't think growing crops is gonna happen. I'm just I'm just cursed. Stick to hunting for the time being, I guess. I should probably sculpt some stuff out of clay now. I've been putting it off. What am I gonna start with? 
maybe the cooking pot why not i don't i don't really know what i'm supposed to start with so i'll start with this okay so it's like the napping but i'm assuming the green means i have to add something yeah oh that's cool so you're actually like sculpting it all right what is it a raw cooking pot what do i do with it now I wonder if I can just keep it next to a lit fire and it'll slowly uh, turn to clay. I That seems too easy though. Okay, I must be missing something because it's been a couple hours and nothing's happened. Okay, place clay products in a one by one by one hole, then place dry grass, sticks, and firewood. A pit kiln fueled with firewood will take 24 hours to finish. Okay, I guess I'm making a pit kiln. All right, that looks promising. Um, no, I guess I wait. All right, I'm wasting a lot of time just sitting here waiting for this to finish, so I'm just gonna start making another clay thing and kind of get a production line going. This one's a storage container, and it's been taking me like, I don't know, half a day to build. So um, clay forming is not an easy process, not a quick process at least, very tedious. All right, I was actually having a lot of fun making the pottery and I got a bit carried away, so I made three more of those vessels. I also made four crucibles for smelting, some more pots, and I started four more pit kilns filled with pottery. Because sculpting pottery is better than getting murdered by bears. I love when they run to the lake, it's such an easy kill. Okay, um, I know I have copper, yeah, copper nuggets. Smelting temperature 1084, 20 pieces smelt into one copper ingot, and I have 79, so I can make about three. But how do we get to a smelting temperature of 1084? Because the wood burns at, what, 700 degrees? This peat moss I found burns at 900. It's hotter, but it's not hot enough. Do I need coal? Where do I get coal? Do I have to mine it? I can't mine it unless I have the copper. There might be like loose coal or something, maybe up on the mountain. I hate going up here. There's always something creepy going on, something evil. No, there's just, there's just ice up here. Oh no. I feel like there might not be coal at the top of the mountain, and if there is, I, I don't want to dig through the ice to find it. Here we go. Okay, that was dumb. That was dumb. Something buried here. Okay, so far just dirt down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it oh, damages you. I didn't re Oh, it's deadly. Okay. I'm gonna stop before I get myself killed. Okay, the sun's going down. I really need some coal, so I'll, I'll, I'll risk it, but this here's bear country. This here's bear country. He's all stanced up. Yep, there he is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? That's actually the bear that was drowning in the lake outside my house. I think it's just drowning. It's getting closer. <gasps> it's all chill between us now, though. He does the hunting. I do the scavenging. It's We got this whole thing going on. We're just chill like that. Please just leave me alone. Why are there three? They're ganging up, dude. They're ganging up on me. This isn't fair. It's a 3v1. Oh, the black bear's there now. They're getting bold. Getting a bit too bold. Now there's uh, a black bear, two grizzly bears, and a rabbit running for its life. No, no, don't. Okay, good luck out there. I think I explored pretty much the entire area around this little valley, and there's absolutely no coal. I don't, I don't think it exists outside of a cave, at least. Okay, oven. Maybe that's what I want. Fill with three discs of firewood, then ignite using a fire starter or a torch. Once the fire is burned out, the oven is ready for use. While the oven is hot, place in one to four dough. Oh, no, this is for making bread? Okay. Uh, nope. Smithing. Smelting, smelting. I need charcoal, clay, copper nuggets, and a pair of tongs. You can acquire charcoal through the process of charcoal burning. Okay. Once you think you've gathered enough firewood, dig a pit. Your charcoal pit can be any dimension up to 11 by 11 by 11. What the fuck? I don't actually know how much charcoal I'm gonna need, but I think a two by two by two pit is gonna be more than enough. 
every block I need to fill is 32 logs, and I gotta fill eight blocks worth of logs. All right, deforestation speed run, let's go. Well, we're getting there. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night though, cause that's way too close to bear territory to be uh, hanging around in the dark. Okay, now that's something I love about this game. You can actually sleep in a one by two hole, and then when you wake up, you don't take damage like in Minecraft. Cover the pit completely, but leave a single stack of firewood exposed to the air. I'm a little confused, but from what I can understand, I'm putting a campfire on the open stack of logs. Let's see. You have 30 in-game minutes to cover it up with solid blocks to seal the pit. Okay, when I hover over the campfire, it's a charcoal pit. Okay, there. 29 in-game minutes. So I gotta... What do I do now? I cover the whole thing up. Hopefully that's good enough. I guess I'll just have to come back and check. It, it is smoking, so I think that's a... That's a good sign. Okay, so once, once I get that charcoal, I can start smelting the uh, copper nuggets. I think I can pour it into these molds, get a pickaxe, maybe dig out the cellar a bit more, and that should preserve the food for longer, and hopefully set me up for the winter, I, I think. There are a bunch of caves right by my house here on the side of the hill. Hey buddy, how's it going? And they're, they're all filled with coal, which is awesome. <laughs> He's coming with me. He's so cute. <gasps> oh no. That, he just... Oh no, I gotta, I gotta help him. I didn't mean to scare him. Oh no, I'm coming, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. I think I see his body. Well, I'm, I've been saying it a lot, and uh, in this game especially, I, I can't let good meat go to waste, so... Thank you for your service. Moment of truth on the charcoal here, let's see. Okay, that looks promising. Honestly, it looks like a pile of shit, but a promising pile of shit. That's 38. That, that feels like a decent amount. Once prepared, place the crucible in the fire pit, then place nuggets into the four crucible slots and heat with charcoal. You can place any amount of nuggets. Okay. Okay, I have crucibles here. Yep. I feel like if I'm burning any hotter than the usual fire I should probably build it outside it's just a recipe for disaster here's good oh my god having a lit torch on you is so much more efficient than carrying around that stupid uh, fire starter I'm starting with the pickaxe cuz I I yearn for the mines okay let's see what happens I, I put it all in change the wood to coal yeah Okay, and then it should just start heating up past the thousand degrees. Oh wait, I only needed to put 20 in there. <gasps> what? 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 <gasps> um, I don't think I was supposed to pick that up. It was like 600 degrees. Oh my god, I'm just <laughs> molten copper is spilling out of me. Okay. Oh, it's still coming. We good? We done? Can I pick it up now? No, not yet. Do I- how do I pick it up with the- Oh, I just have to have it in my hand? I just have to have the tongs in my hand and then I can just pick molten copper up. Okay. Let's uh, let's try smelting just 20. So far no first degree burns. We're in the clear, I think. I just gotta hold the tongs. Lesson learned. Okay, it's almost done. I'm getting excited. There it is. Okay, tongs in my hand. I'm gonna put it there. Nope, nope, nope. Where does the tong have to be? In my offhand? Maybe this will work? Okay, yeah, I can actually hold it now. Ooh, that's so satisfying. The molten metal will be very hot initially. After the item has cooled to below 200 degrees, you can take out your cast item. Congratulations, you are now a master met metal ma me not this shit again. Might as well get a sword cooking too, just so we have a little bit of defense. And then I'm gonna sleep for the night with a pocket full of hot copper nuggets, just as God intended. 
I'm assuming I can just use the sticks for handles, like the other tools. Oh yes I can, there's my first pickaxe. Let's go. And then, this is a weapon I think. Specialized for fighting the unnatural. That's exactly what I need. Knock knock, I'm back. Yeah, I hear you in there. There you are. Come here. This is for this is for chasing me out of this cave on night two. Yeah. Okay. What do you get from these? Temporal gear. Can't can be shattered to create a returning point. Can be used with a knife to restore temporal stability with some pain involved. I don't know what any of that means. I actually feel powerful for once in this game, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep riding this out. All right, I'm killing all y'all. Come here. Oh my god, there's so many in there. I'm not gonna push my luck. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. At least I know I can take on a few at a time now. It's uh, better than before. I need to expand my cellar here. I finally have the copper pickaxe, so I should be able to now, what is this? Borax requires bronze. And this is copper. All right, I guess I'm not expanding my cellar. What, of all the places, it's right there. There's, there's something I can't mine right there. <sighs> okay, I don't, I don't, <laughs> every time I click the floor with this thing, it just starts shaking, okay? What just happened? What did I just do? What? It just disappeared. Nothing happened. I feel like it might be a way to set your spawn point. I guess we're gonna find out. It works. Okay. It works. That is my spawn point. Sorry, Ram. I didn't actually mean anything by it. <laughs> I've kind of drawn out a circle where I'm going to lay out the next part of my house. It's going to be an underground section, so I'm going to have to get rid of this garden. It's, uh, it has served me, it has served no purpose. I've grown nothing out of it, so I'm just going to tear it down. And, uh, maybe in the spring I'll, uh, I'll get some vegetables growing. So I was out there uh, digging my hole, uh, as as I do, and um, yeah, as you can hear, I've been surrounded by everything. I'm not going out there, I'm just going to try and sleep it off. I know the bears are going to stick around, but the drifter should go away in the morning. Wait. Wait, did I- what? I was in my- I was torn limb from limb. I think a bear hit me through the wall, maybe? All right, as much as I don't want to, I'm gonna kill a couple of these things because they sometimes have good loot. Not very often, though. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna let two in there. Oh no. Oh no, I'm hitting the dead bodies, okay. Oh, that was way too close. I'm starting to think I might actually be able to sleep tonight, uh, as long as I don't get murdered halfway through. So I'm just gonna move the bed to the middle of the room. Okay, they're definitely still here, but um, I'll give it a second. <laughs> oh my god, yep. Nothing's at the front door except for a grizzly bear, okay out front. I think he's, it looks like he's leaving. Maybe not. I am a one shot, but I can take one. Yeah, okay. I can handle one at a time. Oh my, there's still so many in there. I just want to keep digging my hole, but they're, they're in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I, I don't hear them. I think they're gone. I'm just going to keep digging. Oh 
why do I hear a bear? Where is it? It's right here. It's right here. Okay, you knock on my door. You kill me in my own home. Now it's personal. Okay, he's out there somewhere. I've got I've got full health. I might as well try and smack him around a few times. <gasps> that pit is three blocks deep. He just jumped three blocks. Get the hell out of here. That's right. I got bigger claws than you. <laughs> Oh wait, I can only spawn here 16 times. This bear has to die. Is that ram attacking him? Yeah, let's tag team him. Let's go. I think that might be it for the ram. Okay. Might as well uh, scavenge the meat. I'm gonna need my strength. Uh, I thought he ran away, but he's right there. Okay, he was at the front of the house. I think he's chasing me. Yep, here he is. Okay, see ya. Okay, moment of truth. Can he climb out of this hole? I don't think he can. I can't hit him, though. I trapped the bear. I trapped the bear. What are you gonna do about it, dog? All right, some people might consider what I'm about to do animal cruelty, but if we combine all the atrocities that this thing has committed against me, I just don't care. With a heavy heart, we gather here today. In remembrance of a, a neighbor, someone near us. At times a bit too close, a bit too aggressive, kind of a dick. Violent though he was, he provided us with many a meal. And now he's gone. May he rest eternal in the bear pit. Anyways, I think the bear pit is going to be the perfect foundation for a multi-story residential building. Boy, do I love gentrifying graveyards. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out our other wild gameplay videos and series. And I'm having a lot of fun with this game, so stay tuned. I'm probably going to post more.